Hello everyone. Today we shall look into timeline slicer. Before starting the timeline slicer, uh, let us understand that uh, this is a data set which is global superstore. You could uh, download it in uh, Google and uh, you could load it from here. Excel workbook if it is in Excel format. And uh, let us uh, like since it is a custom visual, you could go to get more visuals and in the marketplace you could download this timeline slicer which which you could see and uh, otherwise what you could do is you could uh, import a visual from a file which you could download in the google or like microsoft website uh, currently since i have already added it let us uh, start with the timeline slicer before starting it starting with timeline slicer since we are Trying to understand about the timeline and the duration aspect, let us make a line chart which is more suitable for understanding it. So here is a line chart. I have uh, you know taken the line chart from the visualization pen. Uh, in the x-axis, as you know, we ha we have to have the date, and in the y-axis, we know that uh, we can analyze the date with respect to profit. Okay, here is a like very chaotic uh, line chart. Don't worry. Uh, we shall normally what we do is we use this slicer and uh, we put a date slicer, which is date slicer. You could uh, you could you know, you know very well how to use it. Just uh, this this is the start date where you could pick the start date. This is the end date where you could pick the end date. Suppose that I pick 31. So this is the values which are ranging from March 2011 to 2012. Sorry, uh, you could say this is from January 2000, January 2011 to March. Uh, sorry, May 2012. So this is the normal slicer where we could uh, make the changes. And uh, as you could see in the new update, um, you could uh, make the pattern of it between like in the general pane you could go to properties and you could uh, change the uh, other properties which you want suppose that in the slicer settings i could see that uh, i could change this to vertical list okay and uh, this is how my vertical list would appear all the dates this is my tile where each and every date would appear in tile this is like uh, between dates which is a normal uh, you know uh, format earlier this we used to appear over here but now after an update it it has moved to the format tab okay and uh, let us get back to the timeline slicer you could uh, explore you already know these uh, different style formats let us remove the conventional slicer and uh, let us come to the timeline slicer this is a timeline slicer. Similarly, we put the order date in the timeline slicer. What you could do, what you could see is this is a uh, like appearing in a lengthy format. So this is a whole uh, whole uh, figure of uh, timeline where you could uh, adjust and uh, choose the necessary uh, timeline. This are this is a range scale where you could uh, select a, select the year, you could select the quarter, you could select the month week and day suppose that i want uh, like in the year 2012 uh, like 2012 uh, suppose that I, I could click on the month and i could choose uh, month of june if i want to analyze here you could see the data of june present over here one month data in a line chart which is very uh, like understandable and uh, I'll, I'll explain you few formatting things of this uh, slicer uh, when we click on the format tab, there is something called force selection. Okay, and uh, in the force selection, since we don't have the current period over here, it will show the entire slicer. Uh, let us, uh, like, if we have the latest data, you could click on this current period to view the current period data. Uh, the second option is like latest available period. Here, the latest available period is 2014 uh, data. And in, even in the, since it is in month wise, it will show the December. If it is quarter, it will show the last quarter. If it is year, it will show the last year. So this is how this force selection works. 
uh, let us keep it uh, like unchecked this is a weak determination standards there is like here currently there is no uh, standard followed if we select on weak the weak i mean number of weeks here it is 53 you could see that and uh, by using iso standard you could uh, uh, like go through the iso standard related to weeks de determination currently i'll keep it to default none and uh, let us move to the fiscal year suppose that uh, suppose that my month start from october to you know uh, september here you could see that 2014 the year starts from january okay and uh, suppose that my fiscal year starts from october i'll click on october okay then you could see that my 2014 year starts from october ends in ends with 2014 september and uh, it will consider the next october as 2015 quarter one and even you could customize the dates as well you could uh, change according to the need uh, this is what uh, what are the changes uh, required about fiscal year let us see the next uh, format option this is a day selection suppose that suppose that i am selecting the month of december okay and uh, i am i am able to view the month monthly data or uh, or you could even take the weekly data as well suppose that you are choosing this week and you want sorry you can see the date wise actually uh, for week 14 date wise actually it is it will show the single because it is week thing and uh, for the date for the day wise uh, if you want to turn off the day selection what you, what it could do is it will show you uh, how to how to format the uh, day day with respect to sunday or monday uh, in the timeline Here uh, I'll show you in the line chart. Let us uh, remove all the. Let us uh, like uh, we, this is a normal chart with the 2013 slicer. Okay, and uh, with respect to slicer, let me uh, explain you the first day. Here, if I choose the date wise, uh, here here the first day. Uh, okay in the week this is the week in the week 14 if i choose this day selection okay this is currently uh, you know creating mess because maybe the dates may not be available over there uh, you could explore it uh, what it will do is it will show the respective dates wise day where uh, you could choose the starting day of the week okay and uh, currently i'll turn it off i'll uh, i'll move to the uh, common data and uh, here in the range header you could see the font color uh, suppose that now uh, it is in the black format i'll i'll click uh, this uh, change in the orange color if i am increasing the size so that you could uh, view it so this is the range where it is selected Suppose that I am selecting 2013 to 15, it will reflect this year 2013 to 15. This is the range header where you could format the font color and text size. Okay, and uh, with respect to cells, these are the cells which you could see. Suppose that I click on quarter, this is the blue, this is light, uh, light bluish in color. Suppose that I want this color, I could change the color to this blue color. Unselected color, suppose that I want to keep it grayish. I could keep it grayish or uh, or else I could keep it white for a good understanding. So this is how these these cells work. These are the cells and uh, you could color format it. Granularity uh, with respect to granularity, you could say this is the granularity where you could uh, select the year, month, uh, quarter and day. The scale color is the this scale color scale color. I could change it into blue. Uh, this is just uh, like slider the square option which you could see I could I could change it into red, red little red so that you could uh, now see the red color orange color option uh, slide as a slider if I click on it month it is highlighted 
and the blue scale is appearing uh, this this is the gran granularity where you could choose over here otherwise what you could do is you could uh, choose uh, choose the gran granularity over here you could uh, select the week it will show you the weeks it will you could you could uh, see the quarter and uh, you could see the year all these uh, granularity is provided in the drop down although it might seem unnecessary but uh, this option is available uh, if you don't want this scale to appear you could uh, unselect uh, year if you don't want year if you don't want uh, you know quarter you could unselect or if you don't want any of the scale you could unselect and it will disappear all you get is this sim simple timeline and uh, you could utilize it so uh, you could uh, adjust adjust the size by uh, you know normal uh, dragging uh, otherwise what you could do is uh, you like according to the uh, exact uh, alignment you could uh, make it uh, make it into appear into a good format by color formatting so this is how uh, this color formatting works with respect to granularity coming to labels uh, what you could see is uh, these are the labels where it is appearing if i uncheck it you could see that years are disappearing if i check it here, here you could see years if i click on month you could see all the levels year quarter month all the levels are appearing here the option display all represent that uh, we need all the levels so you could uncheck it uh, to show only months to show only the selected ones uh, otherwise if you want all you could select all you can change the you can change the font color you can increase the text size now i hope you could uh, see the text very well right so this is this is how this labels formatting works these are the labels and you could format it according to the need and uh, this scroll auto adjustment feature is uh, as you scroll as you scroll it will automatically adjust adjust your time timeline slicer according to that uh, suppose if my uh, adjustment feature is not available so you could see that i could not able to you know it is not able to auto adjust suppose that it is uh, if i am scrolling this now you could see that it is auto adjusting according to the scale uh, you could uh, like gradually explore these uh, uh, formatting options and uh, i hope timeline slicer uh, is a very handy custom visual and you could explore and utilize it in your reports thank you for watching have a nice day we shall meet in the next video